well well hello anybody uh, watching this video so um, I'm gonna try to show you here uh, how to check for power uh, at the fuel pump okay uh, this truck this is a 1999 Ford Expedition and this is probably gonna work um, for most of these expeditions up until like maybe 2005 I'm not exactly sure on that one but okay um, I know that I don't have fuel pressure okay so let me show you real quick over here uh, let's just crank it up a little bit and show you what this thing does it died on me last night okay and uh, it wouldn't start for crap anymore and so what i did is i hacked the fuel tank with a rubber mallet okay because i knew there was no fuel coming out and so it started working somehow somewhat okay and so okay so oh, maybe the fuel pump is back right everybody will say that but I like to actually verify some things uh, uh, because sometimes we go ahead and replace the pump or replace a component and it ends up being some loose wire or something like that, right? What do you know? So, um, and this is what it's doing right now. It kind of starts and then it dies, okay? It really sounds like it's a starving for fuel. And so we're gonna go ahead and check the fuel pressure gauge over here. Okay, first thing to do in this case is, of course, always just check fuel pressure. Right, we have um, almost no fuel pressure in there, and so we know we have an issue with, with the fuel pump. But it would be nice to check and see if it's actually getting enough use, enough power. Right, if the ground is good, uh, just to you know verify and be confident in our repair. And so we're gonna start over here with the uh, wiring diagram. Uh, we can see this schematic right here, and we're going to locate the fuel pump. Okay, this is the fuel pump assembly. This entire square here represents the fuel pump assembly. This over here, this is the fuel uh, tank pressure sensor, okay, which is built into the pump assembly. And then we have the fuel pump module, which is um, the sending unit, okay. This is what tells the uh, gauge over there in the instrument cluster, hey, um, we have a quarter of a tank, a half a tank, full tank, whatever, okay. And so this right here, we have the two circuits in the um, go into the fuel pump. Okay, the two circuits that actually make this fuel pump work. Um, this is a representation of the fuel pump. The end means motor, okay, because that's an electric motor. And so um, we have the two wires. This black wire over here, we can see the ground representation. This is ground, okay, which is got to make sure that we have a good ground. We do in this case, okay, and this other wire is a pink and black, okay. And it'll go to the inertia uh, fuel shutoff switch, okay, come out of there, out of that switch, and get into the fuel pump relay, eventually goes to the fuse, okay. Now, if we follow the circuit the other way around, okay, we can actually see how this relay operates and sends power to the switch and eventually to the pump, right. So we got constant power over here coming into the relay, okay, or uh, ignition on, that could be ignition on. Um, but anyway, it comes to the relay, okay, once the PCM notice, this is the PCM right here, that the engine is cranking, okay, then it applies ground to the relay, to the fuel pump relay, and then that ground makes this contact move and make contact with this circuit, okay, this circuit, you can see a split right there, okay, it tells the module, the PCM, power train control module, hey, um, the switch, I mean the relay is sending power to the fuel pump, okay, everything is fine, all right, and then it also sends power, obviously, to the switch, goes into the switch and comes out of the switch and comes to the fuel pump, okay, so this switch right here is this one here, I'm in the passenger side, kick panel, okay, we have the inertia shut off switch in there. We have three wires, three circuits, okay? This is a monitor circuit. This is to tell um, the PCM and the instrument cluster, hey, there's a problem with the switch, okay? So it can trigger a code. And these are the two main circuits we're gonna focus on. The green and yellow is coming from the relay, okay? This is right there, dark green and yellow. So power comes from the fuse, okay, through the relay, to this switch, and then it comes out as a pink and black, 
okay? So, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna check for power in this circuit coming into the inertia shutoff switch. Why are we, why am I doing this? Okay? I'm doing this to first of all make sure the switch is good and it's getting power to it. Okay? And then second, sorry my screen my screen went black. And second, at the same time, I'm going to check the integrity of this relay and this fuse. So if I get power here, I know this relay is good, the fuel pump relay, and the fuse is also good, right? So, let's do this. I'm gonna turn the switch on. Power should come up for a few seconds. There it is. Okay, now cranking. Okay, so we have power coming from the relay and the fuse. So I don't even have to check those. Okay, and we're going to make sure this inertia shutoff switch is working by checking the output coming out of the switch. Okay, this is the circuit that goes to the fuel pump. This is a pink and black. We can see it right there coming out of the switch, pink and black, into the fuel pump. So, switch on. Okay, we got power. Now cranking. Okay, we got power. So, we also know the switch is good. Okay? And then if you really, really, really want to re-verify, right, or like make sure that the wiring coming from the switch all the way to the back is good. You can come over here and locate the fuel pump harness connector, okay? And locate the wire, the power wire coming out of the inertia switch is that one. I already checked for power in there. There is power coming out of the inertia switch. So I know all my wiring is good, my switch is good, my relay is good, my fuse is good, okay? I know and I'm very confident that replacing this fuel pump will definitely fix the issue, okay? And so, for those of you who don't know where the fuel pump is, it's actually right in there, okay? That's the fuel pump in there. Unfortunately, you still have to drop the fuel tank in order to get it replaced, um, but uh, it's very doable. Okie dokie, well, that's how you check for power, or at least that's how I do it.